return of the Shuki rules in the transport sector. Commuters have been stranded on various city routes this morning following uh, the announcement that they are going to implement and enforce the rules that are to do uh, with uh, following the rules that govern the conduct of public service vehicles. And we will be crossing over to Kimani Mbugwa who is on standby somewhere. Kimani Mbugwa, if you can hear me, where are you and what is the situation like on the roads? Good morning, Sam. This is a CBD. This is Tomboya Street, just next to the National Archives. This is a, a, an area that's very busy with matatu stages all around here. And what you've noticed this morning is that it's been a pain to commute in Nairobi this morning because matatu operators have decided to slow down or to stage a go slow, you know, trying to, you know, uh, fight back the police who, who have started a crackdown on the matatus that are not uh, complying with the Michuki rules. Now, we've spoken to the traffic commandant this morning, Mr. Samuel Kimaru, who confirmed, now, earlier on, had stated that um, the police officers we spoke to earlier had said that this is just a normal operation, that's just a normal operation, but then Mr. Samuel Kimaru says this is actually an operation that's very intentional. In fact, the word he said is, he said that something drastic is going to happen. Those are his words, saying something drastic uh, that is concerning the discipline of matatus most of them do not comply with these rules and of course there have been there has been laxity on the side of law enforcers in terms of uh, uh, employing these rules but then this morning the people who are at the pains are the commuters and the uh, the Nairobians who are stranded this morning I want to speak to some of them and hear how their experience has been this morning I have we have a woman here who's been sitting for uh, a few minutes hello mama naitwa nani naitwa anjiro kamama yes uliko naenda wapi ukikuja hapa sasa leo nilikuwa nime nilikuwa naelekea Gikomba sasa naelekea Kikuyu how easy was it to get a matatu this morning it was not easy at all mpaka saa hii unaona from 6 and i didn't know by the way this was gonna happen so it i was taken by surprise yeah so uh, what are you waiting for right now when you're sitting here i'm waiting for a matatu heading to Kikuyu as you can see mebeba niko na mizigo so it's it's hard for me kukuwa na mizigo yeah all right. Okay, thank you for speaking to us. Okay, there you have it. She's stranded here with her luggage. In fact, this matatu, uh, this particular stage here goes to Kikuyu. Uh, and we've seen only two matatus so far for the last 15 minutes we've been here. Let's speak to another gentleman over here. Hello, sir. Yes. How easy was it for you to commute this morning getting a matatu? Uh, th this morning, the matatu was uh, just, uh, it was a mess. Because, uh, that what route were you coming from? From Garden. And Gong Road. Gong Road. Yes. How easy or uh, how much did you pay for fare to come to, to the CBD? I pay 80 bob. 80 shillings. Yes. How much do you pay on a normal basis? Uh, 50. 50 shillings. Yes. So that's 30 shillings more? Uh, that's, that's corruption of the uh -huh. Because I had budgeted 100 to and fro, but mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. I'm less by 20 bob mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. and where are you going from here? I'm going to NLC, uh -huh. National Land Commission, uh -huh. and uh, Minister of Agriculture. Okay. Fighting for farmers. So you're not going to get another matatu after here? I'm footing, I'm footing, I'm footing, yeah. So you have to walk? And I, I am seeking for 20 bob. Uh -huh. At the time, in the evening. Uh, do you think matatu operators uh, have the right to, you know, stage a ghost law when the police are trying to, you know, just enforce the Michoki rules? No, they don't. They should follow the law. They, they may go to court and, and do their way with, with, with the police. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for speaking to us. I'm going to let you go to where you're going. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, let's speak to some other people who are still stranded here. In fact, I've seen this uh, lady here for a while since we came here. Hello, ma'am. Hi. What's your name? I'm Harriet. Uh, where are you going this morning? I'm going to Kitui. Kitui? Yeah. How easy or how hard was it to get a matatu this morning? Okay, from, from Rio up to town, I paid only 100 shillings. Of which I've heard others say that oh, they are paying 200, which is times two, the issue amount they used to pay. But for me, I think the rules should be instilled for the welfare of the Kenyans and the people. So you're willing to go through the pain of paying 200 shillings for a few days, but then the rules to be enforced? Yeah, if it's for our own benefit, I'm ready to pay. Because okay. it's better to pay high and the rules be instilled. Are you getting late to where you're going right now? Pardon? Are you, are you, are you being late for you? To, uh, are you getting late when you're waiting for a matatu here uh, to where you were going? Yeah, because... Even the vehicles are not moving, so I have to to adhere to the. To, so you just have to wait for uh, yeah, I have to wait. Okay. 
Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you for speaking to us. Okay, let's speak to another woman over here. Hello, ma'am. Hi. So, Nani? Ruth. Ruth. Where are you going? Westlands. Westlands. How hard has it been to get a matatu this morning? It was hectic. I've taken like since seven up to now. Since seven? And this is uh, almost ten? Yeah. And uh, on, a normal, on a normal day, how long do you think uh, it, that would have taken you? 30 to 40 minutes. I'm in town. Yeah. And how much did you pay from where you came from? Where did you come from and how much did you pay? From Don Home. Don. From Don Home to here, you paid 100 shillings. How much is it on a uh, normal basis? 50, 70. And do you think the Matatu operators have the right to down their tools when the police um, you know, are having a crackdown on the law enforcement? No, I don't think so. And what do you think? Uh, what do you think they should do at, at this particular point? Do you think they should, uh, you know, because we, we don't know how long this is going to take. Uh, what do you think? Well, from where you stand as a as a person who uses matatus, uh, what do you think should be done going forward? I think they should just implement that Michoke role. It will be better off because people have been suffering for long, so it will be better off. Mm. Thank you so much. Welcome. Hi. Okay, so there you have it. Some of the passengers who've been stranded this morning trying to get a matatu. The lady we've just spoken to says she's been uh, trying to get a matatu from 7 a.m. in the morning. It's almost 10. And that's a story that most people are still experiencing. In fact, uh, on my Twitter right now, most people are tweeting at me, you know, asking uh, where can we get a matatu. I cannot promise you that you're going to get a matatu anytime soon because the information we have from the police side is that, uh, in fact, what, you, what you're experiencing right now... Uh, uh, from the traffic commandant says that they were just testing the system. So this crackdown is about to even be tighter for them to enforce the Michuki rules. In fact, he says that a major operation is about to be launched. So this is a story that he's going to be developing and we're going to be following uh, all the developments here on the ground, Sam.